All right, we're watching Steven's breast surf underwater. We're going to go ahead and watch it here at full speed. A couple things we see real quick, Steven. Your hips are a little low, your feet are a little low, and your head's a little high in that water. So we do want to kind of work on that. We want to make sure we have a little bit better streamline there up that turn, too. We definitely got to make sure we work on that underwater pull out. So let's go over a little. Let's go over a little bit slower and see what we see. Pass your underwater pull out going forward. All right. So you can see that you're breathing nice and early. Your head's starting to break that surface. Right as your hands are pressing out, I like that a lot. Okay. So that's a good breath, a good part where you're breathing. The one thing we want to see is you can see where your body's a little bit more on an angle. Okay, so we got to try and get those hips more up here, those feet more up here, because your body will then be, flat, be a little more flat there, and it's going to be a lot stronger breast jerk. Right now, you're creating a lot of resistance all the way through by being on that angle. Okay? And you want to create as little drag, as little resistance as possible. You want to have as little mark in the water as you can. As your hands start to come forward, you can see that you're engaged with your kick. We like that a lot. Your hands are really flat, and you're going to push them forward really well. Start to see that head is looking down. Your hands are going, for, going forward. That's a bad direction of forward there, but the second one was much better. So that's really, really good. I'd like to see you try and get your head a little bit lower, more with the CSP there, kind of between your arms, okay? If you get your head a little bit lower, you're going to roll your shoulders, and that's going to help get you a little bit deeper in the water, because as you can see right here, right as you're finishing your kick, okay, right as you're finishing your kick, you're a little bit high with that head, which means there's water coming here. Everything else is pretty streamlined, but then your head's up here, and that's what's slowing you down. So let's just get that head down a little bit better, okay? Again, good early breath as you pull your stroke underneath your body. Elbows nice and strong. Now, right here at the end, you kind of see your elbows are coming out of that water. So let's make sure we kind of keep those elbows here underneath your shoulder. Don't let them come back quite so far. If you keep them underneath your shoulders, you're going to be able to drive your hands forward a lot better. Again, you've got the right idea. You've got your shoulders starting to roll a little bit, but then you lift that head, and that's what kind of slows you down. It doesn't let you continue all the way down. So let's work on that a lot. All right, we get into our turn. Good job of getting your feet stacked right here. That's excellent. Looks like your shoulders are just above that surface, which is perfect. You kind of turn your hips a little bit more to the side so your feet are facing that direction. Remember, we want those legs to come straight underneath your body so that when you hit that wall, your feet are here and your knees are up here. Okay, So we don't want to be that direction sideways. We want to be more this direction and a little bit more on an angle. If you come up on that angle, that's going to be such a better breaststroke uh, turn for us. Now, as we come off that wall, Stephen, and we've had this discussion before with your streamline, you can see that you're not really fully streamlined. You've got your hands kind of crisscrossed, okay? But you can see all of this space right in there. We want to get rid of all that space. If you lock those elbows and make a nice tight streamline, all of a sudden it's going to be a lot stronger, a lot faster. Okay, but when we tell you that you're not streamlined, this is what we're talking about. It's not a really complete streamline as tight as you can make it. Here's where the underwater, or here's where the uh, flags are. So you're starting that pull a little bit earlier than I'd like to see you. I think you could have held that streamline just a little bit longer, but this looks like it's a good strong pull there. Good dolphin kick. Your hands are a little bit flat out to your side. Remember, we want those hands more on your thighs, okay? So keep, the, keep that head down like that. That looks good. But get your hands on your thighs. That'll help kind of curve your shoulders a little bit and make you a little bit more streamlined as you're coming off that underwater pull. Good job of keeping your hands sliding right up your body. Okay, that looks good. You're creating very little resistance there with the underwater kick. Good job of kicking. Right here, you haven't completely finished your kick and your head's already above the water. So we're a little shallow as we're doing that underwater kick. Okay, make sure we're a little bit deeper because you can see your head is completely above the water and now you just started your stroke. Okay, 
So that's a little bit over correction. You, you know, we talk a lot about making sure we don't do that second on our pull. But you want your hands to be out a little bit past your shoulder by the time that head comes up. And you've got your head up before you even started pre pressing those hands out to the side. So if you work on that, I think we're going to see a lot better underwater uh, pullout. But, Stephen, all in all, I like your breaststroke a lot. Just a couple little things I think if you kind of fix, we're going to see a bigger improvement. Great job.